In this general problem, we'll be finding the speed that Gretchen will have to do to finish the race in the same time that she did firstly. So we're going to use the equation of velocity. But what we're going to do is we're going to find the average velocity. And in order to do that, we're going to find the change in x total divided by the change in time total. So they ask for what constant speed that she has to run. But if you think about that, what they're saying is what is the average velocity? So that's why we're finding the average velocity here. We can break this equation up further because if we say the distance that she ran the first time plus the distance that she ran the second time, and then we're going to divide that by the time that she ran the first time plus the time that she ran the second time. So this is essentially the concept of what we're doing to find the average velocity that she needs to run. So now let's solve for these times over here. If we rewrite the equation that we just talked about, velocity is d over t, or delta x over t, we need to solve for time. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by time, I'm going to combine this all into one step. We'll divide by velocity, divide by velocity. So now if we rewrite that, time is equal to distance over velocity. So now we can plug this in over here. And so let's rewrite that. So the average velocity will be equal to the distance one plus the distance two that she has to run. And then that will be divided by distance one over velocity one plus distance two over velocity two. So now that we have our final equation, all that's left to do is to plug in the values to find the average velocity that she needs to run to end up with the same time that she did in the first race. So V average is equal to four times 10 to the three meters. That comes from four kilometers and we can replace kilo with 10 to the third. And then we're gonna add same thing here, one times 10 to the third meters for one kilometer. And now we're gonna divide all of this by the distance one that she ran. Of course, we just said was one, four times 10 to the third meters. And then she ran that first time in five meters per second. Now we're going to add one times 10 to the third meters divided by four meters per second that she ran four times 10 to the third plus one times 10 to the third all divided by four times 10 to the third divided by five meters per second plus one times 10 to the third divided by four meters per second. So the average time that she has to run to get the same time on her race is 4.76, but we can round that to 4.8 meters per second for her average velocity to equal the time that she ran in her first race.